This tutorial will demonstrate how to navigate viewports and how to create and modify solids. When the program starts, there are four viewports visible. They are perspective, top, side, and front views. Let's create a box to give us a point of reference. Left click and drag the mouse in the top view. A box will appear. Left click outside the selection bounding box to deselect the object. You can pan the 2D viewports using the scroll bars. Or click and hold the mouse wheel and drag the viewport. You can also use the arrow keys to pan the viewport. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. Or press the plus and minus keys on your keyboard and number pad. The perspective viewport can be moved with the arrow keys or the mouse wheel. You can click and hold the mouse wheel and pan the perspective viewport. Right click to enter free flight mode. You can look around using the mouse and move the camera using the arrow keys. To switch to a single viewport, press F12. Here you can get a closer look at your work. Press F12 again to switch back to four viewports. Now reset the scene by pressing the New Toolbar button. Left click and drag the mouse in the top view to create a box. Left click outside the selection bounding box to deselect the object. You can select an object by left clicking on its center cross or by left clicking on an edge. You can also select objects by left clicking on them in the perspective viewport. To move a selected object, left click and hold inside the selection bounding box. Move the mouse and release the left mouse button. You can scale a selected object by left clicking on the edge selection tabs. Hold the left mouse button and drag the mouse. To rotate an object, left click once inside the selection bounding box. The selection box tabs will now appear rounded. Left click and hold on one of the edge selection tabs. Drag the mouse to rotate the selected object. To skew an object, left click again inside the selection bounding box. Left click and hold on one of the edge selection tabs. Drag the mouse to skew the selected object. You can copy a selected object by pressing the Copy Toolbar button. Press the Paste Toolbar button to create a copy of the original. It will appear in the same exact position as the original object, so you won't be able to tell there's a duplicate there until you move it. A faster way to copy selected objects is to hold the Control key, then left click and hold inside the selection bounding box. Drag the mouse as if you were moving the object. Release the mouse, and a copy of the object will appear where you dragged the selection bounding box. You now know how to navigate viewports and create and modify solids. This is the basis of most editing in 3D World Studio. This concludes this video tutorial.